Okay, everyone. Ilion Ascent Infinite Realm is a new MMORPG game released in Korea in December 2020. And now we are all waiting for Western release of this game. While we wait for Western release, I have decided to bring to you every Thursday fresh news here on my YouTube channel. You will find out all you need to know about what is happening on Korean servers of Ilion, new events, new updates, and also if I found out any new information regarding Western release of Ilion, you will see it here in my weekly Ilion news. So let's not waste time, let's dive into video. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to see more Ilion videos in the future. I am following all information from beautiful world of Ilion and when I see something interesting is happening or if I see some useful information, you will see it here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. Okay, let's check what is happening in Korea. So as you can see here, first thing which you can see in front of you, I am not currently on Korean website of Ilion, I am here on Western uh, Ilion website. This is website from Kakao Games, which will be publisher Ilion of Ilion for the West. Probably it will happen somewhere in the second uh, half of the year, but I will talk about that later. Let's first go to Korea. And uh, yeah, we are here now on Korean website of Ilion. And as you will see, many things are happening there. First thing which I will show you is a part of the website where you can see all the new updates which they have implemented into the game over there in Korea. And let me just scroll a little bit down, check this list, right? Lots of updates, really, really many, many updates. Basically every week, one new update, even sometimes two times per week. However, not all of these updates are important. Some of these updates are little ones, minor ones with little changes. Some of these updates are really huge ones. I would just uh, tell you, for example, in the past, on February 3rd, as you can see here in the middle of the list, uh, they have added a new class Slayer into the game. You probably know that, so I will not talk about that uh, too much today. That was one, we can say, huge update. But recently, as you can see here in the list, uh, March 10, this was uh, yesterday, yeah, that was yesterday, uh, they have had a new update, I will show you that update. On March 5th, it was a little update, nothing special, nothing important, and on March 3rd, it was also a big update. So in the last one week, we can say on March 10 and on March 3rd, two big updates. And I can say uh, to some point they are very similar because you will see which things they are changing, fixing, adjusting. But nevertheless, lots of things are happening as you can see over there in Korea. Developers of the game are adjusting and fixing many things regarding the game. Let me show you first update from March 10 that was yesterday. So this is fresh one, new one. Uh, here on the start, uh, there are some events. I will show you a little bit later what are, uh, regarding the events, what is happening. Always they put uh, events in the game. And then are coming changes which are coming with that update. And when I would uh, want to show you everything, every detail regarding this update, well, this video would last like two hours at least. So I will just show you in generally what are they doing over there? What are they changing? So as you can see, first thing, class changes. With each new update, they're changing, uh, adjusting uh, basically each class. Mostly they are fixing Slayer because yeah, it's a new class, right? That's, that's kind of logical thing. It's a new class. This class needs a more adjusting than any other class. But in generally classes in every update, basically almost every week, they're adjusting and uh, I would not say fixing, I would just say uh, really uh, the good word, uh, word would be adjusting each class uh, some details. Regarding the content, as you can see uh, from this update on March 10 from yesterday, clan, okay, yeah, guild system is also here in the game and it's really important in Ilion. I know that many of you who play MMORPGs will like that. Me also, I like to play in guilds 
We have a guild system in Ilion and it's really highly developed that a guild part of the gameplay. As you can see here is translation clan. They're uh, adjusting uh, some items basically which you can get as a guild member adjusting the stats of that items. Here we have some uh, PC room benefits. Uh, don't be confused by that. Uh, we don't have that in Western regions. Basically uh, people play MMORPGs at home, right? wherever you live, or there in Korea, uh, lots of players are playing MMORPG games and in general games from PC rooms. PC rooms are like huge, huge, uh, I would not say restaurants because they are not, but public spaces. Yeah, that would be the best description with lots of PCs and people gather over there and play together different games, right? And if you play uh, that games from PC rooms, you are getting certain benefits in some games. Ilion also is getting, as you can see, uh, players of Ilion are also getting some benefits if they play from PC rooms. That uh, feature of the game, probably it will not implement it for the West because, yeah, we don't play usually from PC rooms in the West. And uh, let's check other things. Dimensional Portal. Uh, so, Ilion is a game, as I'm scrolling down, you will see with the many PvP and PvE instances, dungeons, I would say, and uh, with each new update, as you can see, as I'm scrolling down, Tercendous Dungeon, Dimensional Rift, Sand Hills, uh, they're changing features, uh, adjusting things, right? Also, we have here Training Grounds, Evil Spirit Castle. I have made video regarding Evil Spirit Castle like maybe one year ago. Over already then we knew what will happen over there. PvP thing with a little bit of PvE. Burning Temple, Arena of Honor, lots of changes. Gear Shop, yeah, it's also here. Little bit of changes regarding that. Check how many changes basically with that update. I have Mark here just to show you. Uh, I have read throughout all of this and I would not say that there is some huge change. This change which I have marked, when a character reaches a level 42 or 45, a quest has been added to obtain a title that has the effect of increasing stats. I have noticed that change was something like interesting. Other changes, as you can see, user interface, graphics, system, wow, right? Look how many things they have adjusted yesterday, right? Many things. And this is really good for us who are waiting this game to be released in the West. Because finally, when we get this game in the West, we will get some finished version, you know? We will not have all these fixes, right? We will get that better version after these adjustments. Next thing which I want to show you here, let's move uh, to March 3rd. That was uh, one week ago, a little bit more. Okay, one day more, eight days ago. And I want to show you also this update because it was all also huge. It was not a little update. And check again what they were changing. Again, same thing, right? I mean, not the same thing, obviously. They were changing different things. However, the theme, the topic is the same. Classes, check this. Warlord, Elementalist changes, Mystic, Assassin, and of course, Slayer. Most of the changes regarding the Slayer, like I said, because it's a new class. It feels really amazing under the fingers. I have to say Slayer class. I am playing over there in Korea a little bit, not much. I have to say there are many complications if you want to play over there. However, as much as I can, I'm trying. This class feels really amazing. Also, I can mark here a little bit uh, what we have, uh, some changes regarding the content. The ability to upgrade 10 or more enchant enhanced hero grade equipment items has been added. That's interesting part. And another interesting is here thing, accessory items can be upgraded regardless of degree of enchantment. It was not like before, uh, before like that. So many changes, many adjustments, again, to the dungeons, uh, as you can see, whenever they see they can adjust something fix, I wouldn't even say fix, like I said, these are more like minor adjust adjustments, but each time they are improving the game a lot. NPC, monster, quest, user interface, again, check this, lots of changes, graphic and system. So basically, with each update lately, they are changing mostly uh, adjusting classes, 
user interface, as you can see, and some things regarding the dungeons. When they implement something new, like some battlefield or new class or something, yeah, I will tell you about that right away. Don't worry about that. You don't need to read throughout all this. Like I said, it will take you two hours to read all these details. However, if you're interested, yeah, if you want to read this, I will put links in the description below video. You can check all these necessary links. Next thing which I want to show you here are events. There are many events over there happening in Ilion. And I must say, when they make Ilion uh, event over there, it's something really amazing. Currently, uh, two events started yesterday. Uh, this one, uh, Cherry Blossom event and Special Day event. Uh, yeah, I am just uh, translating what is happening regarding that event. But in general, this Special Day event, for example, when you log in every day uh, from uh, March uh, 10 forward, you're getting certain rewards as a login rewards, uh, some chest and some items from that chest. Cherry Blossom even, also I'm studying what is happening over there. They always put some kind of nice rewards. It's really nice. I hope we will have that kind of events here in Western regions after we get Ilion. Because over there, events are really amazing. So yesterday started two new events, Cherry Blossom event and Special Day event, pretty decent events. Uh, here I have, I want to show you uh, events, a list of events which have ended. And uh, as you can see, 19 closed events. I think it was even more. But anyway, I have to say lots of events uh, from December 10 until today. And each one of these events, I will not say maybe each one, but most of these events were really amazing. When they put event, when they make event, they always put some really nice rewards. And it looks like it's really worth to play, you know. It's not like even when you read the details, you don't want to even play it. Because there is no anything interesting rewards, right? These events are really amazing. So when I see something interesting and when I manage to translate, I will tell you about that. Anyway, events are also happening there. Now let's talk a little bit about Ilion Western release. I'm here on Twitter account, official Twitter account of Ilion, and also I will put the link in the description below video so you can follow this Twitter account if you want, because uh, we are getting, if you get anything new, we will first get over there on Twitter or of course on their official, uh, official website. Here on Twitter, sadly, lately, nothing new. We still don't have any kind of official release date for the West. If I see anything new, anything at all regarding Western release of Ilion, you will find out about that like same second here on my YouTube channel. Because trust me, I'm waiting for release of this game really a long time, same as you probably. But uh, for now, nothing new. As you have seen here on the start, official website of Ilion for Western release, it's up. It's looking really amazing. And uh, you can come here to this website uh, subscribe to newsletter. Also, they have all uh, put up all the infrastructure, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Instagram, Twitch, everything is here. It's up. You can follow them regarding Western release of Ilion. I must say, I have no doubt that Kakao Games will publish very soon Ilion in Western regions. We will not wait end of the year, for sure. Of course, like I said, it's unofficial information that it will happen in the second half of the year. But who knows? They will maybe surprise us very fast after the middle of the year, right? Also, you probably know Kakao Games and Pearl Abyss were publishing together until recently. Black Desert Online and Kakao Games have done a really good job regarding publishing of uh, Black Desert Online. I have no doubt at all that it will also do, uh, be done really on good and professional way here in the West. The question is only when, right? We would all like that it, ha it will happen soon. What to say except that we can only hope for the best and follow all information which we are getting officially on uh, from Kakao Games, right? And of course, like I said, I'm following all informations from Korea. If I see anything interesting is happening over there, some in-game features, new classes, you know, something really useful, interesting, you will find out about that here on my YouTube channel. 
So this was my uh, like uh, fifth or sixth now a uh, weekly uh, news uh, video regarding Ilion. I'm starting to count from now because I have decided to make this video every week. So if you are interested into Ilion regarding news from Korea and the Western release of the game, check my YouTube channel and of course subscribe here. You will be informed instantly when I see anything new. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more Ilion videos in the future. See you soon.